Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a general direction app. For this I am going to use uh, an API called Generize. So I have it here. Using this, we are going to determine the gender of the first name. For this, we have to pass the name and it will give us the result in the form of this JSON object which contains name, gender, probability and count. So we will be making use of only the gender and probability. That's it. Ok first let me copy this URL Copy link text Next I am going to open Sketchware I will create a new project in Sketchware. I will name the project as Gender Detector. Here I am going to place Edit Text and I'll set the width to match parent next I'll place this button and I'll set the width to match parent next we need text view I will place it inside a linear horizontal I'll place two text view here And similarly here as well I'll change the text size to 16 and the, I'll set the style to bold next I'm going to change this text I'll set this to gender and the and this one to a probability. So this text view is going to display the gender and this one will display the probability. I'll change the ID of this text view to gender and this one to probability. Next I'll change the text size. I'll set it to 14 SP okay. I'll change the text of the button to detect gender Let me change the properties of this edit text as well. I'll set the hint to enter name. So this is fine. Next, what we are going to do is for this button.
on click we are going to do some operations for that I'll add a component that is a request network this network is used to make web api calls I'll name this as REQ and we'll make the request the method is get here we need join operate that is join block okay. here i am going to paste the url which i copied i am going to delete this name and next I'll place this block and this will get the name this block is used to get the name which we enter in the edit text and I'll set the tag to 0 next on response to get the response we have to display it for this i'm going to create a map variable i'll name this as map next i will so the res response will be a json object we have to convert that json object into map object sorry we need a list map I guess no, so use this block and convert this and I'll convert this response to this map variable and we have display it in text view so for that we'll use this block that is text view set text we are going to display the gender so for this we are going to make use of the map get key block so the key to get the gender is gender itself and similarly we will display the probability for this as well we are going to use the same block that is map get key the key will be probability next if we get error response we will toast that we will toast the error message that's it so our app is ready so let's try let's try it out Okay, the app is installed. Now here I will enter name. Okay, I'll enter new run random name. Okay, next I will 
gender gender so as you can see we have got the output that is main and the probability is 1.0 now i'll enter some female name Now let's see. So we have got the output as female, and the probability is also 1.0. So next, what we are going to do is we are going to add that loading animation. So for that, we have to make changes again. So we'll add. our progress bar here next on activity create we'll set its visibility to gone progress bar set visible gone next when we click on this button the progress bar should be visible progress bar set visible and set this to visible so when i click on this button this progress bar will be visible so after we get the result that is after we get the response we have to make it disappear for that again i'll use this view block and set the visibility to gone now i will run the app I'll enter name. So if I enter Karthik, now we should display the load uh, loading animation and I click on this button. So as you can see, when we get the results, the loading animation disappears. So this makes our app look good.